Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find the volume of a solid using cross-sections of semicircles. Now, when it comes to finding a volume of a solid, you typically use this formula here, it's in calculus. Volume is equal to the definite integral from A to B of the area function. This is any area, generic area function, A of x dx. Now, this will help you find the volume, and typically when it comes to areas of functions, to determine volume, it depends on really what the uh, function is, what kind of a shape that you have. Now, if you're going to use cross sections using semicircles, you want to consider that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now, since a semicircle is half of that, you may end up using one half pi r squared. But the thing is, what you want to consider is it may depend on what kind of a function that you actually have. You may your radius of the semicircle may you know be plugged in via a different function. It could be a line, it could be some other shape, but this formula is going to come into play, but ultimately the final steps to finding the volume of that solid is going to be plugging it into the definite integral. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's a general strategy on how to find the volume of a solid using cross sections of semicircles.